So in this video, we're looking at the mean of a continuous random variable, otherwise known as the expected value. Uh, so you've got some sort of continuous random variable, you've got a probability density function, and you're wondering, well, if I just picked a thing at random, what would I expect the thing to be? So that's what expected value is. You've done it before with binomial distributions. Uh, it's relatively straightforward. We've got a formula for it. The expected value, E, capital E for expected value, is equal to uh, the upper bound, lower bound, the integral between those two, x times f of x. So you take the original probability density function and multiply it by x, and then you take the integral from the upper bound to the lower bound. Let's just try it. So the question is, find the mean or expected value, they're the same thing, of the random variable x if it's given by this probability density function. Uh, so relatively straightforward, let's write it all down. The expected value of x is equal to our little uh, formula here from infinity to negative infinity, uh, x times f of x um, with respect to x. Okay, now in this particular case, um, what really matters is going from 2 to 0. And then we take x and we multiply x by our function times 0.5x, and we do that with respect to x. Okay, now x times 0.5x is uh, 0.5x squared between 2 and 0 with respect to x. Now, uh, integrating that, that's going to be relatively straightforward, but I'm just going to use a trick that we don't always do, but we're going to put this 0.5 out the front. Now this is sort of an optional bit, you don't have to do this, but it does make integration a bit easier. Alright, now let's integrate this just x squared, and that 0.5 can sit out the front. So we have 0.5, um, and then we're integrating x cubed over 3 between uh, 2 and 0. Alright, so that's going to be 0 0.5. And then I'm subbing in 2 and I'm subbing in uh, 0. So 2 cubed over 3 uh, minus, but be careful because we need to sort of have all of it, minus uh, 0 cubed over 3, which is just 0. Okay, um, now 0 0.5, that's 8 over 3. 8 over 3 times 0 0.5 is 4 over 3. Okay, now... What does that represent? Well, something was happening, something has a probability of happening, and you would expect, and so you can get a score between 0 and 2 when that thing happens. You would expect 4 over 3 to be the thing that happens. Anything could happen between 0 and 2, but over the long term, 4 over 3 is what the average thing that happens will be. That's what we mean by mean or expected value. And here's how we do it. 